this video I'm going to talk about the Neapolitan 6 chord. Now the Neapolitan 6 chord is just a, simply a name that we give to a unique type of chromatic chord. Now chromatic chords are chords that exist outside of the key you are in. And uh, in the next set of videos we're going to be looking more and more at chromatic harmony. That is to say harmony that for a moment doesn't fit in the key. It's not quite enough of a change of key to say that we have modulated to a new key, but it is a colourful and a very vibrant way of putting a lot of harmonic colour into your particular progression within a key. And the Neapolitan is one of many chromatic possibilities. Now we've already looked at borrowed chords and those are indeed in a sense, they are the first step into chromatic harmony, where you're starting to play with being firmly in a diatonic major or a diatonic minor mode, and starting instead to blur the lines a little bit there. Well, this adds another level to that, another way of thinking about adding color and interest to your harmonies. So the Neapolitan 6, what is it? Well, it's actually very simple to define. The Neapolitan 6 is a major chord and it is built on the lowered second scale degree. And it is usually, although not exclusively, usually in first inversion. That's why it's called the Neapolitan sixth, the sixth here referring to the figured base for first inversion, Neapolitan sixth chord. So let's just review that again, make sure that we're clear. It is a major chord. It is built on the lowered second scale degree, very important and it is usually in first inversion. That is uh, not you know, as critical in the sense that you will find that you can commonly use it in first inversion, but it often also exists in, uh, in its root position uh, configuration as well. So these are the three things you need to know. You should learn this so that you can define a Neapolitan six chord at any given moment. Now what does that actually mean? Well, let's go over here and look in C major and in C minor. So in C major, this is our two chord, D, F, A. No problems there. It's a standard minor two chord in C major. The Neapolitan then, if we look at our definition, it's going to be a major chord. Well, we've got to change this somehow to get it to major. We'll look at that in a moment. This Neapolitan chord is built on the lowered second scale degree. Well, that would be the first thing we want to do. Let's find the second scale degree and let's lower it. So D becomes D flat. Then because we've, we now know where we're starting from, we can go back and we can say, okay, it's built on the lowered second scale degree and it needs to be a major chord. So let's build a major chord from D flat. Well, that would be D flat, F, A flat. That is a major chord. So this would be the Neapolitan chord, a D flat major chord, would be the Neapolitan chord in C major. Now, Bear with me at this point. Understand that much. We'll talk about how you use it in just a moment. So let's for a moment, however, look at minor and just observe what happens if we try and make a Neapolitan chord in minor, because this chord can be made in major or in minor. And in minor, our two chord is a diminished chord. Again, we should know that information. That's just a standard two chord in minor. It's D, F, A flat. That, and the A flat's in the key signature. That is the two chord in minor. So if we want to create a Neapolitan, again, we need to know that it is a major chord. It doesn't matter whether you're in minor or major. The Neapolitan chord is a major chord. It is a major sound. It is that sound world. So we're going to have to construct a major chord built on the lowered second scale degree in minor. Well, the second scale degree is a D, so we lower it to D flat, and we build a major chord. The only difference is the A is already flat, so we don't have to change quite as much to get from the D original D diminished chord to a D flat major chord, which is the Neapolitan VI. So the chord is the same in C major and C minor. It's going to be a D flat major chord because it's built on the lowered second scale degree, and the second scale degree is the same in major or minor. The difference is in how much else you have to change to get to the major chord that you need for the Neapolitan VI. Okay. So we have here, the uh, now, we've defined what the Neapolitan 6 is. So let's talk about how we use it. Having understood what it is, how do you employ it? Well, it's actually quite simple. You simply use it in the ways that you would use the diatonic 2 chord. Or, 
the diatonic 2-6 chord if you were using it in inversion. And that, obviously, even more, that connects to the Neapolitan in first inversion. So wherever you would use a 2 chord, or a 2 chord in first inversion, you can usually use the Neapolitan chord. Um, so, here, for example, is a progression in major. 1, 2, 5, 1. That's very common progression. It would be even more common progression, perhaps, if it was 1, 2, 6, 5, 1. Because that puts the 2 chord into inversion, and this is a very common, very solid progression in major. And because the 2 chord is in play and it is used within the context of common practice harmony, then it, we can say then it would, should be okay to substitute instead the Neapolitan 6 for that 2 chord. So 1, 2, 6, 5, 1 becomes... 1 Neapolitan 6 5 1. And you voice lead it in the same way that you would. You simply insert the appropriate accidentals to create a major chord built on the lower second scale degree. And uh, just substitute one for the other. So that's really how it's used. So now let's expand that a little bit. Let's say to ourselves, okay, maybe we're in minor and we've got a one chord. And we want to create a progression that would include the Neapolitan 6 chord. There are a number of ways that you could do that. One would be, you could go 1, 6, that's a very common progression anyway, 1 to 6. And then, you might, you might normally go 2, and then you might go to 1, 6, 4, to 5, to 1. That would be a very standard common progression. 1, 6, 2, 1, 6, 4, 5, 1. Now, instead, we can simply substitute in, instead of the 2 chord, the Neapolitan 6. And now you have a chord progression which is just as solid, but just a little bit more colorful. 1, 6, Neapolitan 6, 1, 6, 4, 5, 1. And it's just got a little more color, the Neapolitan kind of jumps out, particularly in minor, the Neapolitan jumps out because it's a major chord. So it kind of it leaps out a little bit at you, it sounds quite vibrant and bright. And it can add interest to your harmonic progression. It's there for dramatic and color effect. It is uh, able to be used wherever you would use a two chord, but you find that you use two chords often leading up to dominant chords to go into a cadence. So you'll find it often occurring immediately before a cadence. It voice leads very nicely to a 1-6-4 chord. It voice leads nicely to a 5 chord. It actually voice leads quite nicely to a 7 diminished chord. And you can then uh, go from the 7 chord to the 5 chord or directly on into a cadence going to a 1 chord. So there's a lot of possible ways that the Neapolitan can kind of fit into your harmonic progressions, particularly immediately before cadences or immediately before dominant chords or dominant functioning chords. That's the Neapolitan 6. We'll do some work in class to try and uh, incorporate this into our harmonic progressions and see if we can become a little bit more familiar with it. Make sure you learn this so that you can define it, and then we can worry about, once you can define it, we can worry about how you employ it uh, in context. Thank you.